Welcome to the Bass Chat. I'm Jess Adele. Today I'm here with Jamie and Kira, and we are going to be talking about the best moments that happened week four of The Bachelor and giving the best moments our roses. So, just to recap from last week, just to mention our front runners, last week I chose Victoria P. You converted. <laughs> For uh, then, yeah. won't be my favorite this week, but we'll get into that after. Yeah, I also chose Victoria P, and we'll see what happens in this episode. And I am forever Team Hannah Ann, <laughs> even though I like Victoria P. Last episode was a great episode for her. But let's talk about what happened this week. Yeah. The episode opens with the girls just hanging out in the lounge. Chris Harrison walks in and tells them where their first destination is going to be. He builds it up. It's so funny because he's like... Beginning of your journey that's going to take you all the way around the world and all the girls are, you know, getting all excited. And you're going to be going to Cleveland. And the girls are just like... Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? Like, it was the most <laughs> underwhelming. Like, which is so funny because I've seen the girls, like, in other seasons, you know, it's like, you're going to Montana and they all freak out. Yeah. So this was, like, a very realistic reaction, which yeah. I thought was super funny. So Ohio. 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 So then we move into the one on one date with Victoria F, which I was very excited about because the previews made me want it. <laughs> excited, nervous, nervous. First of all, Victoria F gets her little date card that says, Today <laughs> our love soars to new heights. Basically, she goes into this whole like victim mode, Victoria F, and she's like, Oh, like I'm scared. I hope we don't like skydive. And then neck minute, she literally skydived on, you can see it on her Instagram, there's proof. People have receipts on the internet of Victoria F. skydiving. So who's scared now? Are we skydiving? No, I can't. I'm not kidding. Were you scared in 2014, Victoria? I'm so upset because the first thing that they did on the date at the fair was they went on a slingshot. Yeah. And I was like, good girl. Like, cause she yeah. was terrified mm -hmm. of, like, jumping off something or whatever. Yeah, and then she they played did it that. up. She played and it up. And she... Once she did it, she was like, oh, let's do it again. And I was like, yeah, girl. You kind of want to do it again? I kind of do. Can we do it one more time? One more time? She's just shooting, no, playing it up. She played it up. My girl is deceiving. <laughs> She's, she is deceiving. She's that hurts. Honestly, Oscar nominee for that performance Ooh. of being scared of heights. Um, and also them like flying into the date on Peter's little plane. You couldn't hear a single word they were saying. It was like, Peter, and I was like, producers? Okay, so the concerts, the moment we're waiting for, because they hyped it so much in the teasers. What is that? We'll soon find out. Wait, what? It was kind of silly. Um, <laughs> it was silly. So I love that Chase is like, are you guys ready? Are you having a good time? And then he looks at the two of them and is like, are you two having a good time? Victoria F is like dying inside and it's amazing. I want to die. I'm like, Girl, like, real talk, it's a little bit awkward, but, like, why are you dying so hard? Yeah. yeah. Like, I felt like it's not actually that big of a deal. Yeah. And the poor Peter was just clueless, having oh, such a great time. He was like, yeah, and, like, spinning her around <laughs> and, like, yeah, like, doing his weird dance He, moves. like, gave Chase Rice his Instagram. Two Bs, not one B. I feel like if I was in that position, I would have just, like, been like, by the way, this is super weird because we dated. That's my ex-boyfriend! <laughs> yeah, and then like during the concert, she's singing along and oh knows my God. every single word. And first, literally first contestant on The Bachelor ever to know the words to this like token country singer that they picked for the episode. And then the concert ends, so awkward, so he finishes the song, they kiss, and then he looks like, Chase looks over them is like... <laughs> so it was like, there was a little bit of awkwardness, but like, I think at the end of the day, it's not really a big deal. Nothing could be worse. So they are on their way to the like night portion of their date. He keeps saying that they're at a really good pace right now in their relationship. And he's like, if things keep going like this. You know, we could have Chase Rice singing at our wedding. <laughs> there you go. You never know. <laughs> oh, I love how like he has zero idea. It's hilarious for TV, but for real life, it's like, bro. I know. Just like, how did she not tell you by now? And but she is such an overthinker. It's oh so my frustrating God. It's to so watch. Aggressive. She's like blowing everything out of proportion yeah. constantly. Yeah. It's like, honey, just chill out a little bit, okay? Yeah. You okay? No, I'm not okay. So after she freaks out the whole episode, she's talking to cameras. You know, oh my gosh, about Chase. She keeps talking about how embarrassed she is, how she doesn't want to tell anyone. She thinks it's like so humiliating for some reason. 
like it's really not. I mean, obviously they everyone on the show has dated other people. I know. Yeah. But that's besides the point. She's freaking out like crazy. Yeah. She finally decides she's gonna work up the courage to tell Peter this huge bombshell. <laughs> Chase and I used to date. His reaction was fine. I mean, he really like he obviously really had no idea because the guy's not an actor and he just like could not fathom that she dated the same Chase that they just saw play. Yeah, <laughs> I love how shocked he is. He's like, and like the singer Chase, the guy that was doing the concert. Wait, what? No. Yeah. She's like, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think it looked really bad. weird on her part that she waited so long to tell him. Like, yeah. they were dancing, they were making out in front of him. Yeah. And it's like she waited hours to tell him. Yeah. And then she finally <laughs> tells him he, he took it fine. And then she goes and she runs off and like to crying. another corner. She, another she corner. Always corner. Always running She's to the a corner. corner gal. She loves a good corner. Yeah. I don't know. It's so awkward. Like, she always like, she took it so heavily for no reason. She was like, oh my God, and then ran to the corner. And before when she talked with Chase, like literally Chase looked so chill. I would just do what's best for you. You're honest. Like she was like, Chase, like, <laughs> are you okay with this? Like I'm on The Bachelor, like, mm. and then he was like, yeah, dude, that's fine. Like you do you. And she was like, but oh no. And I was like, Victoria, <laughs> simmer down. Yeah. So he gives her the one-on-one -on -one rose, and he's like, will you not run in the corner this time? I think so this rose. Every one-on-one -on -one moment that they've ever had in their entire life, she's run to the corner. Honestly, like, like it's... Blair Witch Project, what's up? What it's getting doing? old. You didn't do anything. Like, yeah. we're about to go into the portion where we give our roses, if we, whether, whether we agree or not with Peter's decision to give her the one-on-one -on -one rose, and I would say that I do agree, because why would he not give it to her? Yeah. But I'll, like, I'm just getting sick of the victim card. Mm -hmm. Like, we get it, you're small and scared of everything, apparently, <laughs> and everything's a huge deal. But like, simmer down. Victoria, simmer <laughs> down! Simmer yeah. down. It's gonna get old real fast, and he's gonna get over her. But I, I give you one last chance, girl. Mm -hmm. Come on, come through. Just be yourself, relax, he likes you. Yeah. She gets the rose, fine, but it's reluctant. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. No. Mm -hmm. So on to the group date. It's a football group date. Definitely doesn't look like one I would want to be on. I would, but... oh my god, really? I'd love that. Oh, I'd love that so much. <laughs> yeah, it looked pretty tight. Shout out to Victoria P. I don't know if her back was actually hurt or not, but she's definitely the smartest one out there for <laughs> using her injury as an excuse to sit on the sidelines and oh, get yeah. more time with Peter than anyone. So I'm not gonna do this today because of my back still. I know, like she even got back massages Yeah, out of that. she's like the like, true winner of this, okay. so. Good for her. Yeah, and then they go into playing this like super intense game of football, which I think like maybe three of the girls have ever watched football <laughs> in their lives. The girls are gonna be out for the kill. Shein is owning this date. Yeah. She literally apparently got every single touchdown on her team. She got like four in a row. I was like, this girl balls out. <laughs> yeah, it was bonkers. Yeah. She animals got it again. So like she gets the first one and then the coach. He's trying to explain to them that if the other team runs, like this is, this is basically what he says. He's like, if the other team runs, then they'll get touchdowns, and then they'll get points, and then you'll be at a disadvantage. And all the girls were like, <laughs> I'm just happy she ends finally having her redemption moment because every I other know. episode before this, she's crying all the damn I time. Know. So she's getting touchdowns. I'm like, she's finally gonna get noticed by Peter. She's gonna get some one-on-one -on -one attention. This is why I'm here. I'm here to win his heart. I'm here to get more time. I'm not going home. Yeah. It's only up from here. No more crying. And then they tie. <laughs> and there's probably more crying ahead because it's going to be 13 girls at the after portion of the date as opposed to six. I'm a little nervous though. I'm not going to lie. And basically going into it, Natasha was like, Gian, you scored all of our goals. You should grab Peter first. And I will block for your ass until you're done. <laughs> I was like, yes! I love, okay, I I love God, Natasha. We need to start giving out a rose for the best quote of the entire Oh, episode. literally, like, because she gets it every single time. I'm not even going to wait for you guys to, like, finish this date. <laughs> Natasha already gets my rose just for, like, oh! blocking bitches out. <laughs> I want to be one to play football. I don't want to break the damn nail. <laughs> So on to the night portion. The girls are already pissed because it's like 13 of them on that date when it was only supposed to be half of that. So no one's in a good mood. And of course we know when things are going bad, they have to get worse. <laughs> and Alea walks in and the girls are just in disbelief. They can't believe she's back. What is happening? Everyone is shooketh to the core. We find out that she's here because she kind of wants to clear her name because she feels like things were said about her that weren't really true. I'm here to freaking set the record straight about what was said about me. She has a talk with Peter, and we actually find some stuff out about Victoria P, that Victoria P, who we loved, we called her Sweet P last week, 
wasn't actually entirely truthful with her relationship to Alea. Because then she went to Vegas together, like. You did go to Vegas, that's what she just told me. Yeah, you could... we went to Vegas together and like hung out. I honestly. Why did it show me that you weren't friends with her then? Peter, look at me. We find out that she actually has known Alea a lot more than what she let on. Definitely yeah. more than three hours, like she said. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, we don't know who to trust. Yeah. It pans to the girls at some point, right? We get to see Savannah, who we haven't seen that much oh, yeah. of. Tam I think it's Tammy who's like, well, Victoria P doesn't lie. And then Savannah's like, did you say Victoria doesn't lie? Yeah. Do you think she li she's a liar? Yeah. I was like, what? I feel like a lot is kind of left on a cliffhanger because yeah. it's like super unclear. Yeah. You're like, wait, is that true? Yeah. Wait, was it only three hours? Vic but like, they yeah. went on a damn trip together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what, were other people there? <laughs> she kept being like, yeah, we know each other. We know each other. We know each other. I'm like, but are you friends? There's a difference. Yeah, I'm like, are they just cutting it out in the editing? I don't know. Or are you not saying it? Yeah. And I'm so confused. I'm and so, so Peter. confused. Poor Peter. I'm obviously being lied to by someone. After Alea and Peter talk, he goes and hunts down Victoria because he wants answers. And she's like sitting in a corner for some reason. And it's like, okay, like Blair Witch Project continued. What is going <laughs> on with these girls? They're possessed. Nothing happens. Clearly yeah. nothing gets said. Nothing is, we're still so confused. And then Peter does the thing that could have been the worst thing you can ever do in that moment. <sighs> Alea, will you accept this rose? He gave the rose to Alea. Which I was like, this is a disrespect that I did not expect. I so think bad. he was so in his head. Like, he yeah. was very present in a bad way. Yeah. Like, he was like, you know what? I feel really bad about that last rose ceremony, so I'm going mm -hmm. to bring it justice now. And it's like, honey, you look around. You're on a group date with yeah. 16 yeah. other girls. No, no, no. Give one of them the rose, yeah. please. They were running around trying to get your attention, and now you're going to give it to the girl that yeah. just walked in. How could you, Peter? And he made, like, that was such a huge statement for Peter to make, was A, Aaliyah's back, B, Victoria P, I don't believe you anymore, <laughs> and C, all you girls that just worked your asses off to get with me, I don't actually care about any of you because <laughs> Disregard. I like this girl who just came and showed up and then <laughs> is absolutely dramatic and terrible. I'm just like trying to be a good person, but it's like, do I need to be a person to get attention? Like, I don't want to have to do that. So my group day rose is going to go to Savannah, although I don't think she's actually going to end up with Peter. I do like how she was on this date. She exposed some things about Victoria P, who we loved and trusted. She spilled the tea, so for that, she gets my rose. Yo, I think I'm just going to give it to Natasha because mm -hmm. I love her quotes. And I will block for your ass until you're done. <laughs> Our second one-on-one! -on -one. We yeah. need a second one-on-one -on, -one on this episode. Woo! As with Kelsey, champagne girl. <laughs> Um, so this is the one-on-one -on -one date nobody wanted or cared about, <laughs> but they had fun. They walked around, where are they again? Cleveland, right? This is where Superman came from. But at least Peter thinks that she might be his wife. Yes, oh my god! Any little one-on-one -on -one moment Peter has with any girl, he's like, she could be my future wife. Like, bro. She could be my future wife one day. Everyone, <laughs> the carpet can be your future wife I'm like, wife literally, this that's room. the subtext of the show. If you weren't on the show, you wouldn't, like, that's obviously, like, these women are here to be your wife. <laughs> yes, it's, like, it's just weird. It's like, yeah. stop trying so hard to say it. Yeah. Like, we get it. Maybe if he wasn't, like, projecting it so heavily, yeah. it would be a little easier, because he's messing it up hardcore. <laughs> I'm messing up right now so bad. Yeah, so then we move on to the night portion of the date, which the one good thing that came out of that was the fact that Peter looked like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> so we love a turtleneck look. Where's the fanny pack? Oh, it's true in the chain. It's okay. He was like a half rock. Almost. He was like Dwayne Le, 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 Le Pebble. Yeah, I want to know all about you and what makes you you and all the great things about your life and the struggles that you've been through. I want to know all of that. Anyways, basically Peter ends up giving her the rose because I guess why wouldn't you? Like, yeah, it, she opened up. Why not? Nice At this point, Peter's just all over the place, so he might as well do something, right? <laughs> um, but I still am like, she can have my rose. She had a great story. I guess I'm a little more empathetic about Kelsey, but I still just think she's like so... Uh, she's, it was a throwaway date. Yeah, whatever. It was, it was nice getting to know her a little bit. But uh, I think at the end of the day, she's still, uh, like, they don't have an amazing connection or no, anything super no. special. And honestly, the she's fact fun. that she was, like, probably my favorite of the episode, I think, just speaks to how bad the quality of women <laughs> are this mess. year. Like, just not a great group Ooh, of girls. So, the fact, yeah. Tea. So, just before the cocktail party, we get a really great confrontation between Victoria F. and Alea. Yeah! 
so good. <laughs> so when Alea is gone for like two days or whatever, she is like looking online, I guess, and she finds out, she knows about the Victoria F. and Chase rice date. So mm -hmm. she comes back to the house and she tells all the girls about it, how Victoria F. was on a date <laughs> Welcome back, with honey. Chase Rice, really? who she used to date. Oh, y'all didn't know that. She's telling all the girls about it. Victoria F. is not happy because she wanted to obviously tell the girls herself. Yeah. Or so not she, at all. Or it's not, not who knows. Yeah. Yeah. It's not their business. So she confronts Alea about it. I, like she has her her red wine in hand, her oh mouth is like God. all red from yeah. the wine, and she just starts going at it. And oh my not God. that what like I didn't think what Alea did was that bad. Like it's kind of juicy info. I probably would have shared it as well. You're manipulative. How am I manipulative? <laughs> because it's Alea, and Alea yeah. was like, I'm back for that's Peter. the thing, you know. She was like, she comes back for like a day, and she's already like yeah. stirring, stirring it up, the pot. you know. You're not a victim. You're a pot stirrer. But at one point, Alea's like, oh my god. And Victoria F. mocks her like, oh my god, is that appalling? Like totally making fun of her pageant so girl voice. Good. And I thought it was just I so it. funny. I like, loved it. It made I me it was like great. Victoria. I have some very choice words to say to Peter, and he's gonna f know who you are as a person. So then basically we move into what would be the rose ceremony, the beginning of the rose, uh, sorry, the beginning of the cocktail party where they get to go, you know, one off go with Pete. Before Peter even gets a word in, Deandra, she's up on the board. <laughs> love. I love her. She took a stand that we all were waiting for. Sorry, Peter, but I've never felt so underrecognized by somebody. And I was like, so good. <laughs> and even like Natasha, obviously Natasha, our favorite bad She has bitch. to chime in. She chimed in. Go ahead, because um, I also have something. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it was like, my ankle is still broken or something. <laughs> And like, I, don't, I can't believe you gave the rose to someone that wasn't even on the date. Like, just all the things I've been wanting to say, they, oh, yeah. they voiced them to oh, Peter. Yeah. And he was just like, I messed up so bad and I don't know how to save myself. And I was like, I'm, I was surprised I didn't just leave. Thanks. I'm gonna go. Um, but yeah, then after Deandra and Natasha say their piece, um, Peter tries to actually talk to someone and the one he wants to talk to is Victoria P. I don't really want to talk to you right now, but I, I can. And even then, like, she's like, I don't want to talk to you, let's talk. And then she's like, I don't want to sit down, let's sit down. And then I was like, Victoria, I love you. Stop being so indecisive. I don't know your. Yeah. I don't know what you want now. I don't know what you want. That no. Let me talk. And now so I don't sad. know who to believe anymore because she keeps f like flip flopping on what she believes in. Yeah. So it is fair that Peter's questioning yeah. her. Yeah. Like at this point, like it's probably the editing too that isn't helping. But like I just want someone to tell the truth. Just please, like tell me what's going on. No, you don't trust me. Front runner Rose. So I am conflicted right now. I used to mm. love Victoria P. I want to like her. I just don't know where her head is. So I'm going with my gut and saying Lexi. But that's, what, that's, what, we're, that's what we're doing. What do you mean? But I still should think she's so cool. And Peter rode in on her convertible to the cocktail party. So this episode confused me a lot. I feel like my opinions about everyone changed. I don't know anything anymore. Kind of didn't really like anyone that much. So I'm giving it to Kelly because I don't think she said anything this whole episode. Yes. We saw her sip a drink at one point. I want to see but more But good her. for her for staying out of the drama. Yes. And I hope next week we actually get to see her say something. My Rose. No. I say burn the show down to the ground. Nobody get, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, okay, it's kind of a mess though. Like real talk, Pete, you messed up big this up week. Big. Like basically everyone's mad at him. It's not looking good. I get it and I don't blame him. Just, just burn down, run away, pull a Colton, but like jump the fence for yourself. But real talk, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my girl. <laughs> death Rose! So, my Death Rose is clearly going to someone who should have already been dead and is now <laughs> revived. Literally, <laughs> the drama was revived and the drama needs to go home. Her name is Alea. Yes! I'm gonna give my Death Rose too. Honestly, more as a favorite to her than anything is Shean. <laughs> because she keeps breaking down, she can't take the pressure. We said this from the first episode, she is not made for this show. No. Mm -hmm. And she needs to go home. I had a feeling like... Well, this one's for Kira's dad, cause all of them should go. <laughs> Burn it down! <laughs> Chris Harrison, we're done, over and out. <sighs> Your dad's gonna be so happy. My dad, yeah. <laughs> My dad, he loves a good grand gesture and he doesn't like any of the women on the show, so. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Uh, make sure to let us know who your front runner rose is and your death rose and all the roses. Just comments below. Go, 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 go. Thank you guys for joining me again, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.